Christmas is one of the most amazing opportunities we have as a church community to invite others, friends and family and neighbour and colleagues to, to be introduced or reintroduced to the Christian hope. And so this little flyer I'm going to quickly run through with you is a resource for you to think how can I be part of this, of this big invitation this Christmas. I, uh, just a couple of days, read a book by Tim Keller and he says this. He says, Michael Green, who was a very gifted British evangelist who died a couple of years ago, Michael Green estimates that 80% or more of evangelism in the early church was done not by ministers or evangelists, but by ordinary Christians explaining themselves to their oikos, which is their network of relatives and close associates. People paid attention to the gospel because someone they knew well, worked with and perhaps loved, spoke to them about it. And you know, you might have heard that we are uh, already well into something called the post-Christian era in our nation and in the West. And in a way, we're going back to that situation that the most important thing, how people can hear about Jesus is through the people they trust. And that's all of us. That's not simply the vicar. And so here is a list of all the different carol and Christmas services at Denner Parish Church. Uh, most of them will be familiar to you. Some of us who have not been part of this church for long may need a bit of explanation. So Friday the 1st of December, we'll have Carols on the Green, which is not run by the church. It's run by the local community and the local parish council. And lots of people come together here in the village on the green just to sing carols. Our choir, hopefully some of our choir will help sing and lead it again. There are some school children there singing. There's our brownies and rainbows singing. And it's a great opportunity just to open the Christmas season together. Then on Saturday the 2nd, we have Forest Church here at St Mary's, exploring God's beautiful creation together with families. And every child will be able to make a special Advent candle so they can always light it every day to count down to Christmas. Thirdly, on Sunday the 3rd of December, we'll have carols at our cafe church. Always the first Sunday of the month, this coming Sunday, we have cafe church again at St. Mark's. And then a month later, special carols at cafe church. Cafe church is great to have community, to sit around tables, to chat, to have a short service together and enjoy a nice piece of cake. And then the others you probably know because they are well known, Chris Dingles and Nine Lessons and Carols and all the rest of it. So, and here's two questions. Which of these services are you planning to come to? And secondly, which of these services might appeal to someone you'd like to invite? Let's turn to the second page, to the inside two pages. At our recent PCC meeting, we talked about how we can make the most of Christmas invitations. And here is a list of ideas. Can I ask you for a couple of minutes just to read through and see which of these ideas might work for me? You may not be on social media, so just ignore that one. But you may really like the idea of inviting a few of your neighbours for mince pies before one of the carol services and then say, let's go to the carol service together after we've had mince pies. Chances are they'll get mince pies after the carol service again, but you know, you can never have enough mince pies, so that's not a problem. Or if you don't like the idea of double mince pies, you could give them something else, a nice coffee, tea, whatever, and then, you, then you're warmed up and then you can come into the church. So there's lots of good ideas here, but I know others will have other ideas. So at the bottom, there's two lines where you can say, actually, here's something else I could do to invite others this Christmas. I'd love you to write it in, but also to write it to me, please, so that we can all share our best ideas together. On page three, it says, can you help this Advent and Christmas? Uh, in a little while, if you are on our mailing list, you will get an email saying, this is how you can help with invitation, with uh, welcome, with refreshments and other ways. And you can sign up for specific services uh, that you want to help with. It takes a whole church to put on Christmas, and we'd love you to be part of that. Now, there's one other thing that we've done for quite a few years now, and uh, Craig and Caroline are here, and this is probably the fifth year, isn't it? Something like that. 
that we are doing Christmas hampers. Give and Share is one of the ministries of Denham Parish Church. And we're doing, last time we did more than 200, last year, more than 200 Christmas hampers for families who will find Christmas quite difficult. And they are uh, distributed to, through local schools who tell us how many they want. We don't know who these families are, but we can bless them this Christmas to make their Christmas special. There's the necessities of life in there, but there's also some really nice things in there. And also, there's a little booklet telling the Christmas story. So it's a wonderful way to make their Christmas special. There's a number of ways in which you can help. A, you can donate something that's needed. Please pick up a flyer as you leave on the table next to the door. B, you can help pack these 200 plus Christmas hampers. That's a major effort done in 10 days. And uh, Dexter will be putting a rotor together and he will make sure that you all hear about it. So you could sign up maybe for an hour or two to actually help the team to pack those at St. Mark's. And then we want people after Christmas to have an opportunity to explore the Christian faith further. And one of the best ways we found to do that is Alpha. And so on these last two pages, you can see a little section saying why you should consider signing up for Alpha this year. So I've tweaked it a bit, not try to convince others to sign up for Alpha, but why we as a church, if you've never done Alpha before, or maybe a little while ago, should consider signing up for Alpha. Uh, I'm not going to read it out to you, you can read it yourself. But one of the key features is, if you sign up for it yourself, it's much easier for you to say to your friends, family, neighbours, I'm going to this, I've heard it's really good, would you like to come with me? And to start praying for the people you long to know Jesus, because it's all started in prayer. And one of the dreams we have for this year, we've never done it before, is to hopefully offer various flavors of Alpha. We'll have a central evening event at St. Mark's. We'll hopefully have some of our small groups running it. Some will be online, so that makes it really easy for their friends to join them. And for the first time ever, we want to offer a daytime Alpha with children's provision. Which means for those who don't like evenings, but also for parents, they can come because they know their children are being looked after. And if you could be part of a team who are helping with child provision over those nine Saturday mornings, that would be amazing. Again, more details soon. But I just want to sow that seed in your mind and you could bless other people by making sure their children are looked after really well. The idea is that Alpha, daytime Alpha would be run at Azita and Cameron's house on a Saturday morning, St. Mark's house and that the child provision will be right next door at St. Mark's Church Hall. So lots of things to think about, and can I commend that to your prayers? A resilient church is a church where everyone prays, welcomes, shares, and dares like Jesus. Well, we need a whole church for the ministry, the work of this church. And one thing, if you read my email yesterday, I said an update about 2024. One thing we'd like you to know, you might have heard it already, it's not a secret, is that next year, Edda and I will take a sabbatical. A sabbatical is something the Church of England encourages every vicar to take about every 10 years or so. Uh, I'm well due one, and so they have uh, agreed that I can have a sabbatical together with Edda from mid-May next year to mid-August. Uh, it's a time to retreat, to be refreshed, to engage in some fresh theological thinking about church, and we really look forward to it. And so, also with that in mind, we want to build a really resilient church so that when we come back, we sit at the back of church and we think, they haven't missed us at all, this is amazing, it's all running wonderfully. And it takes a whole church to do that together. So I commend this to your prayers. Um, and please be part of the Christmas invitation and of the Christmas services this year.